actually go over to Ty's house and work on that F body Camaro that you saw in my very first video. If you guys have been around that long, if not, make sure to go check that video out. And so we'll give you guys a little update on that. So I'll see you there. All right, guys. So we're back at Ty's. Um, you guys haven't seen this in a while. So a little update. New rack and pinion. Uh, BMR cross members. Um, I think uppers as well. Yep, uppers and lower control arms. Um, we got both exhaust manifolds wrapped. They're stock LS exhaust manifolds. If you guys don't remember, it's a turboed 5.3 is what we're doing. Um, tubed front end. Don't remember where he got that from. I'll throw it up on the screen right here. And then he also has picked up Hughes Performance Torque Converter. So many layers. It's bolted so that you could change it. And then he has picked up the Holly Terminator X EFI system. Same one that we're running on the 4.6, but obviously for an LS and a Camaro. And we have stripped a lot out. As you can see, pretty much the whole dash is gone. The HVAC system's gone. Uh, we just, today, once we got here, completely forgot to record. Got the seats pulled. Last night we got a lot of the wiring out. We're going to run all new wiring. Um... So next we're going to be pulling up the carpet and all the sound mat and probably getting the rest of the wiring out of the rest of the car. This is all stuff that we have pulled out. <laughs> There's that huge HVAC thing. Um, I think last time we... Ooh, I don't have my hat on. That's weird. Um, last time we measured or weighed sorry it was roughly 68 ish pounds and that wasn't even everything that we have measured that we have pulled out so far we haven't measured any of the wiring uh the seats because those aren't going back in we haven't measured or sorry weighed any of the sound deadening the door panels he's doing new door panels um just like the aluminum sheets um the dash isn't going back in correct no Okay, so you're going aluminum dash, or what are you guys? What do you plan on doing? The skeleton of the dash we're keeping. So we we're throwing in the skeleton of the dash that's over there, but um. All the gauges, all the fancy shit in there, I'm getting rid of. Yep. I use the Holly system, just trying to cut as much weight as possible because these are heavy boats. But we're gonna take a quick lunch break we're gonna fry up a pizza on the barbecue real quick and uh, I'll keep you guys updated all right guys we're back here at Ty's it's a different day obviously so uh, quick update on the car I'd never film the day that we had stopped but um, we got everything torn out it's completely empty besides steering column obviously but when we pulled back the carpet we found a little surprise there so we will be uh, taking care of that, cutting up, cutting all the rust out, welding in a new panel. But other than that, you got a little surface over there and there, but other than that, it's really clean. But we do have everything out. And then today, after we got off work, Ty stopped by and grabbed some uh, some new goodies. This is a low ram, right? Yeah. So Holly, if I low ram intake, ninety. Two millimeter? 92. What? 92. 92 millimeter throttle body. It's got Snake Eater Performance 1000 cc injectors. We'll focus there for you. Kind of see it. Uh, fuel rails. And then it's a water, just water pump that he's had. And then these front facing turbo exhaust manifolds with the uh, exhaust. Got a T6 flange on it that will be changed into a T4 flange. Uh, what turbo are you running? Uh, 95 DS racing with T4 back housing. Okay. So that'll look really good. 
we wasted all that time wrapping these stock truck manifolds. And now we've got to waste even more time wrapping those ones. Thanks, Ty. You're welcome. But we're going to get it all set up and uh, we'll go. We'll show you what it looks like. All right, so Ty just went into the house. I'm going to try to get it all on before he comes back out just to kind of piss him off, just to fuck with him because, well, he wanted to put it on, so. All right, so we got everything put back, put on. Uh, everything's just kind of sitting. It's not bolted down or anything, but the Holly low rim intake's on. The front-facing turbo manifolds with this exhaust. It is for a T6 flange, like I said earlier. We'll be end up re-welding the a different flange onto it but overall it's looking pretty good uh, eventually we will uh, wrap this exhaust and probably the headers so it's looking pretty good uh, we might get some of it bolted down we might not tonight um, are you wanting to do anything with the EFI tonight I don't think I've showed him the EFI yet um, I know I mentioned it but he did have the Terminator X so, he has the bolts for the intake. Here's the gaskets for the exhaust. So we might try getting some of it actually bolted down tonight yet, but we'll see. All right, so we got it all mocked up. It's just kind of sitting there, nothing's really tight. But we got the intake on, front facing turbo manifolds, this exhaust. We'll probably we redo some of these welds. Full focus for you. There you go. There's some places where it's not welded all the way. Was that right there? Yeah. Or no. Where is that weld at? Yeah, it is right here. Yeah, it is right there. All right. So just to kind of keep you guys updated. Honestly, we've just been kind of. Fuck. Chilling and fucking around so we haven't done much besides bolt the intake down. We pulled the white pipe back off We're gonna about to pull the exhaust manifolds off because we will wrap them. We're gonna grind down the welds on this because Yeah So then we're gonna wrap that as well probably will be in the next video on the Camaro and We'll have to eventually do the trans. We've just been put been putting it off because we're lazy. Really lazy. So that's it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys next week. Boom. Mm. Put that in the outro. Spicy. Mm. That's going in.